So I'm going to start capturing. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this area, right? And then I'm going to press start capture. And if I scroll, you can see this is uh, what's actually been captured right here. All right, listen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, nobody has gone from the low level Windows user to the elevated Mac user in a similar fashion to me in 2023. Maybe this is coming out in 2024. I'm recording this is December. Deal with it. The thing is, I do not know of a better product than this one when it comes to Mac. I'm a huge fan of a lot of what Mac can do, but what is the best part about Mac is its creative capabilities and some of the one-time purchase applications like CleanShot X that have absolutely changed the way that I work. So first of all, CleanShot X is a pretty simple product. You can essentially go and buy App Plus Cloud Basic for $29 for one payment, or you can do a App Plus Cloud Pro, which essentially gives you a cloud storage, shareable links, all that kind of stuff. And I'm actually gonna give you a really quick and easy solution to avoid doing the Cloud Pro. It's not needed at all if you stick around to the end of this video. So as you can see on the testimonials page, there are so many different people that really like this product. And the main reason is because it just works great. So I have a quick key bind command shift four, and all I gotta do is copy any part of the screen. And once I double click and open on this, you'll notice that it goes into a great editor. Now, I by default have it set so that if I were to take a screenshot, it automatically goes to my clipboard. You can have it automatically save rather than going to my clipboard, but I like having this version because it doesn't waste any storage space. Now, when I click on any of these, this essentially adds a nice background that gives a much better experience than most screenshots, right? It gives some padding, gives some feel to it. Um, these gradients are automatically inside of the product, but you can add things like wallpapers. Uh, like for me, if I wanted to add a new preset, I could do like a Rise Productive preset, and then maybe it would just have my wallpaper uh, like that guy right there. I think the gradients look pretty cute, and there are plenty of other gradients that you can put in the wallpaper section totally. You can also blur the background as an option, which is really cool as well, or you can pick a plain color. Now the rest of these really fun settings essentially are the ability to, you know, draw arrows and essentially <laughs> make the easiest screenshots to showcase to people how something works. So you can change to a myriad of different arrow types, but outside of that, you also can select with different boxes, change the color in here, drag and drop whatever you like pretty much. I'm a huge fan of the way this guy works, pixelating different things or highlighting different things like that always on the table. This pixelization feature is great as well. If you don't want to show who people are, you can number things like, all right, one by now, then go to how it works. All that can be changed color wise. And then after you do create something, you can always select it and edit it. Like right here, I can boop, move this arrow somewhere else. It's much easier than any other screenshot product I've ever experienced. And I'm always baffled by the quality that I see here in all of these sub features. Even just from the minor thing, like how thick do I want my lines to be? No reason for them to have that, but it's awesome. Now from here, what you can do is you can like drag this and move it somewhere into a file system. Um, personally, what I like to do when it comes to screenshots is if I were to grab another one like this, after I apply my preset, I then press, you can do any of these different options, which are fine, like pinning it, sharing it, all that kind of stuff. I usually just paste it out but you'll notice here that it gives you the option to edit it again, upload it, or press save. Now, when I save to my export location, it actually goes to Google Drive for me. A very simple and quick process, but I have a Google Drive set up for my Mac that essentially, if you go to Google Drive for desktop and download the Mac version, you then can go into CleanShot settings here. And as I mentioned previously, for screenshots, I have it automatically copy the file to the clipboard. You can have it even automatically open the annotate tool, which is a pretty solid option considering I always want that. Like if I add this as a setting change, you'll see that in a second. But regardless, I have this set as an export location to go to my Google Drive for desktop location that essentially just pulls in the actual cloud storage that I have because I'm at a business or I own a business, whichever situation you're in, or if you just have personal Google Drive or OneDrive storage, it's gonna make it so much easier. Just do that. Don't buy the cloud thing. You can get updates for a small fee once a year as well. You do not need to waste $8 a month 
on this product. It's awesome just as it is. The cloud functionality, I'm sure it's nice, but if you have a cloud storage solution already, kind of makes sense to just have it. So now, after I make that settings change, you'll notice it will automatically open up the editor. And then I can select a preset. Maybe go to a Notion page and paste this bad boy out. And you'll notice the quality here that there's no degradation. It just looks like I, the exact same thing I just took. And I cannot believe that this guy isn't more talked about than it already is. It is in my top Mac apps and top apps of all time, having reviewed, and I only scratched the surface on this thing. This also is a great screen recorder. That's right, it has the ability to screen record as well. You can shoot in up to 4K video, 60 frames per second. You can record audio in here. There's a video editing option as well. And you can change all of your different shortcuts and just go absolutely crazy with this application overall. Now, a great thing about the product too is that since it is a one-time purchase, you can always put your email in here and if you need to switch computers for some reason, you can put your email in here and you know clear out your license and redo it. And it's, it's one of those license access situations that's great. Resetting your license is like the most minor inconvenience of all time, but saves you money. And I personally think you should just do that for all these one-time purchase Mac apps. Just buy one license and then go crazy with adjusting as needed. If this was a Windows app, I would be baffled. I just don't feel like the ecosystem of creators really have nailed down apps like this. I don't even know if Windows is capable of doing these kinds of things. I feel like they would if they could. Um, another really cool feature as very well showcased by this is actually the scrolling capture. So you can go to here and do a scrolling capture, but let's just go here. So how to select an area. I'm going to start capturing. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this area, right? And then I'm going to press start capture. And if I scroll, you can see this is a, what's actually been captured right here. And then if I press done, yeah. What the actual heck? Are you serious right now? I actually captured all of that screen real estate with one screenshot. Quality intact. I'm just baffled at it. I, I just don't, I never get it. I never understand how this product ends up ever being able to do what it can. <laughs> For some reason you wanted to put the, the padding preset, you totally could. It's it's a 12 out of 10 experience. I really recommend that you check it out. And if you do like this product and wanna check it out, there should be a link down below for you to, to grab it. If it's an affiliate link, I will say that as much as it is an affiliate link, I'm not doing this just for the money. I use this product every day and it's ridiculous how much I enjoy it. If you like this tool and wanna check out more content on how to improve your skills using tools like this one in the world of productivity, make sure to check out videos like this one right here.